what I decided to try was finally, because this is what I would have done now, it makes much more sense, connecting the idle to the play of the idle animation. When we have the idle movement, we would play the idle animation. That's something I should have tried earlier on, but during the time in the video, I was very new. We didn't really figure that out just yet. For the move, we're gonna connect to the run animation and we're gonna test that. So you can see the movements are working with the dynamic joystick now. The animations switch to the walking animation. It's just in the incorrect direction. If I use the UI joystick move, I have to switch the rotation in the Y axis again to I think 90 degrees, but this at least works correctly. When we let go, the idle animation plays and at least switches off. That's how I thought I had to use that joystick move. Like I said, in the rotation, I'm removing the negative so that we have 90, but now the character is facing the opposite direction. So it's facing away from us. But now at least when we move right, it moves the animation plays correctly with the walk. When I let go, the idle animation plays. This is correct. It feels correct. This is what I wanted from the beginning, but we had to debug this a little bit. But that actually doesn't resolve the problem of just using like the platformer mobile controls with the animated platformer. This UI joystick move only connects to idle and move. All the other animations aren't going to be playing if we're not connected with the animated platformer. That was my concerns at the time. I'm just trying different things now. Since the receive joystick node is pretty much a receive node, we can just create a receive joystick. This is a separate one. Have the event name as J0. This one, we're going to connect to the UI joystick move. But you see, that's just creating redundant work because it should have just worked with the receive joystick, the platform removal controls, but it didn't. And I don't know why. I just deleted that because I thought at the time, this is how the setup should be, where we have the receive joystick as the receive node. And then we have it connect the UI joystick move. And then the idle and the move of that is connected to the keyframe animations with idle animation and run animation. This works though. Like I said, if it works, it works. That was a setup that I did for character 3.5, Raz the Rabbit. 